Okay, in this video we're going to draw and interpret line graphs. Here's example one. We'll, we'll uh, draw a line graph for the median home prices in Washington and uh, use the graph to describe the change in home prices since 2004. Example two, we'll describe the growth rate in sales for each of these two businesses, the, the red business and the green one, business two and business one. Okay, so let's start with example one and you will need graph paper so please check the website and print off graph paper or you can use any graph paper you have yourself. Just any paper with squares on it would be good to draw graphs with. So let's begin. First of all, let me quickly try to explain what median means. It's a kind of an average me measure. There are different ones. It's not the arithmetic mean. What median means is that in 2012, half of the homes in Washington uh, were priced higher than $234,000. These are measured in thousands. Half of the homes in Washington were priced less than two hundred and thirty four thousand dollars okay so it's it's the the middle exact kind of middle class home so to speak so if you bought a, ho a home in 2012 for two hundred and thirty four thousand dollars half of the homes were worth less than that half are worth more so you're exactly the middle person say anyway so with that, let's go ahead and graph this and see the trend in the median prices. So we're going to get a ruler and draw a horizontal axis like this and draw a vertical axis like this. Now the question is, what do we put on the vertical axis and what do we put on the horizontal axis? And what would make more sense? What would be the kind of input and the output here? What would be the ind what depends on what? Does price depend on what year it is, or does the year depend on what price the houses are, if you know what I'm saying? Neither one makes sense. Is that what I heard? Anyway. In a way you could say price kinda depends on the year. Like if, if you're told the year, then you can figure out the, the price type of thing. So in any case the year would be called the independent variable, the price would be called the dependent variable because it depends on the year. Price changes every year type of thing. So in any case the dependent variable goes up on the vertical axis. The independent variable, the year will go down here. Anyway, you probably would have guessed that already, but that's year, this is price, okay, um, oh, 04, oh, 05, oh, 06, oh, 07, oh, 08, all the way to 12, and I guess we could just go ahead and do it year by year. Wouldn't that be the neatest thing, maybe? Might be. One, two, three, four. Well, no, maybe not, because we only have, what, one, two, three, four, five, we have nine years. How about we skip every two, every two um, lines and put our years like this. That might be neat. Or you could even skip every three, that would be even neater. If you, if you do just every one, it'll be too cramped together, I think. So we'll start with 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, and 2010, 2011, 2012. And yeah, you could have done every three, that would have been probably even nicer than what I've got here. Um, now, for price, the prices, if you look at the numbers, 234, 224, 246, 250, 284, 310, what is the highest price? 310, right? What's the lowest? And why am I asking? We want to make this a nice, neat graph where we can kind of see changes in price up and down. I don't think it would be cool to just do this going from 0 to, you know, whatever, 300. Because most of your prices, you see, if you did 0 to 300, most of your prices are going to be between the 2 and 300 range. And so you're going to see price changes that aren't that big of a deal. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if we start with 200 down here, and make 300 up here somewhere, then we'll see the 
the line graph jumping up and down more. So that's that might be a, a cooler way to do it, so to speak, right? So we'll try um, put 200 here and then how are we going to mark off this graph? About 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that might work. So every 2, this would be 210,000, 220, 230. So every 2 uh, grids I'm doing, 240, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, and then, oh. Okay, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, and then 310 at the top. Okay. Okay, so now we'll make our scatter plot. So in the year 2004, we have 224, uh, uh, the median house price in Washington is 225,000. Okay. 2004, 225, that's in between, halfway between 220 and 230. 2005, 261 is the mean price. 2006, 294 is the mean price. Now press pause and see if you can get the rest of the points and then check on the video. So press pause and you do the rest of the points and then I'll do them. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to finish them off now. So, where are we? 2007, 310. 2008, 284. 2009, 250. 2010, 246. 2011, 224. 2012, 234. Okay, so there's our points. And once again, when we, we're going to join these points up to make a line graph. So we're just going to join point, 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 like connect the dots. And when we do that, connecting the dots, um, it might be, it might look nice. I mean, it might look, it might tell a bit of a story here with the house prices in Washington, which I'm sure we've all had some experience with in the last few years or at least heard of people affected by changes in house prices so you may be interested in this line graph I hope so we just joined the dots up like that Right, and now we have a line graph. So when the dots were by themselves, we had a scatter plot. Now that we've joined the dots up, we have a line graph. It's as simple as that. Now, what? how do we answer this question? Using the line graph, describe the change in home prices since 2004. And we're going to use the word growth rate because we're going to see that word pop up We've already seen it in the previous section, and we're going to see it in the next section as well. I'm just going to put this more obvious. This is the year. I don't think you guys can see this very well. Let me just zoom in. A little bit here. Okay. So if we were to describe the change in prices or the growth rate, we could say that from 2004 all the way to 2006 and even 2007 you could say house prices rose they increased or the growth rate was positive the growth rate was positive positive growth rate okay so let me just do this and we'll call that positive growth rate. Okay. From 2007 to 2008, 
to 2008, what happened to the prices? They fell, they decreased. Negative growth rate, decrease in prices, okay, obviously. Sharp decrease in prices. So we could call this negative growth rate, obviously. And from okay now for this part of the graph from 2009 to 2010 um, there was a very slight decrease in the median house price so you could say that here the growth rate is almost zero almost no growth no change almost the same so let's just call that for fun almost um, no growth or uh, zero growth rate let's say just for fun zero growth rate same thing as no growth right uh, growth rate also means slope so you might remember from an algebra class that if you if you have a a horizontal line the slope is zero right so that's like a, a zero growth rate slope growth rate are the same thing and um, then what could you say about the rest of the graph what could you say about from here to here what happened to the house prices going from here to here increase or decrease from 2010 to 2011 the house prices decreased so that's an, again a negative growth rate right and how about from 2011 to 2012 here to here what happened to the house prices did they increase right increase so positive growth rate here okay okay and on this example two we're going to describe the growth rate in sales for each business so I'll do business one and you do business two right so we don't have to actually even write it down we'll just have a look at it but in January 2010, Business One had sales of $70,000. Okay. Oh, let's say over the last six months altogether, something like that, right? And then by June, from January to June, they recorded sales of 60000 So on that six-month period, they were down. So the sales decreased by $10,000. So they had a negative growth rate in sales. From Jan June 2010 to January 2011 by January 2011 they recorded $60,000 in sales so the, the sales rate uh, stayed the same so this is a zero growth rate or zero slope remember that? Zero slope. Uh, so there's a negative slope zero slope right or negative growth rate no growth rate no growth same same amount slightly negative growth rate almost zero again and then from June 2011 to January 2012 sales increased all the way to 80,000 so this is a positive growth rate right and just really quickly the reason this uh, graph starts from 50 and goes to 90 is just to show the change a little bit better I mean if we started this graph at 0 and went up to 90 well sure uh, 50 would be around here uh, 60 would be about here and you'll notice almost all the change is taking place between 60 and 80,000 so we'd have 60 and then 80 would be about there so if you started your graph if you just drew your graph here starting at 0 and all your changes would happen between 60 and 80 so it wouldn't be look visually as dramatic as it really is so this would be 70 and you'd kind of just and it'd be the same spacing on the bottom you see so um, the same spacing on the bottom oops didn't do it very well but basically what I'm trying to say is you would go um, 70 to 60 and then you'd stay at 60 and then you go down slightly and then you go up to 80 and it would just kind of look like that okay so there would be no I mean it almost looks like a straight line across whereas here when when we change this the the axis numbers we get a dramatic increase and things like that so it, it's 
changing the axis can make graphs look more uh, clearer where the the changes are right so business two how would you describe the growth rate in sales for business two from January 2010 to January 2011 sales were constant uh, so the slope the slope is zero there's no growth growth rate is zero no change right no growth no change but did we have growth from January 2011 to June 2011 slight growth yep and what happened from June 2011 to January 2012 sales increased or decreased sales decreased right so this would be a negative growth rate okay 